Hello everyone, in this Hilding Shorts, I am going to tell you how to discriminate the lymphoblast and myeloblast. So whenever we are going to diagnose a ALL or AML, we have to know how to differentiate the blast cells. So how will be the lymphoblast? Lymphoblast will be having no granule, no nucleoli. Just two points you have to remember. There are no granule in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is having no granule and there will be no nucleoli in the, in the nucleus. And in myeloblast, you will find there is a granular cytoplasm and prominent nucleoli as you can see here right so these are the two key points granular cytoplasm prominent nucleoli myeloblast no granule no nucleoli lymphoblast right now we can use cytochemical stains also to differentiate them lymphoblast will be pass positive because they contain glycogen and that will be giving you red color positivity so how will be the red color positivity you can see there is a regular dot like or block like positivity will be seen in the lymphoblast whereas myeloblast they will be positive for myeloperoxidase pseudon black b and non-specific esterase myeloperoxidase is the most specific stain pseudon black b is non-specific stain non-specific esterase is used for monocytes right so these are the important point about the cytochemical stains now let us have a look how to see on the peripheral smear or aspirate so ALL you can see all these cells are visible none of the cytoplasm is having granule so there is no granule in the cytoplasm and you cannot see any nucleoli also so no granule no nucleoli so this is the lymphoblastic cell so acute lymphoblastic leukemia two important hints you have to remember no nucleoli and a granular cytoplasm and when you are applying pass stain what we are going to see can you see there is a block like or dot like so you can notice block like dot like positivity so these are all pass positive positive lymphoblastic cell right when you are going to see the myeloblastic cells now you can see myeloblast cells will be having granule in their cytoplasm so granular cytoplasm and three to five prominent nucleoli so in this you can see in this cytoplasm there is a granule and you can notice all these are prominent nucleoli all these are prominent nucleoli so prominent nucleoli granular cytoplasm myeloblast and myeloblast will be positive for myeloperoxidase stain myeloperoxidase stain will be giving you blue black granules within the cytoplasm and remember this is the most specific and the best stain to identify myeloblastic cells right so myeloid myeloid lineages will be bluish and black so these are all blue black positive these are the myeloblast right now other stains which we can use for myeloblastic lineage is the pseudon black b stain where you are going to see black and granular pigment so you can notice these are the black and granular pigment which is the pseudon black b positivity right then we can use non-specific esterase as i have told you which is alpha naphthyl butyrate and how will be the color of mon monocyte monocytic cells will be showing you the red brown color appearance right so these are the important point about the myeloblastic cytoplasm staining now we can see the pass staining how it is going to differentiate because pass will be positive for lymphoblast also and for erythroblast also which is aml m6 right so how to differentiate so answer will be pattern of staining right pattern of staining lymphoblast you can see dot like block like and erythroblast will be having diffuse positivity so now you can see here dot like block like regular interval dot like block like positivity will be seen in lymphoblast whereas aml m6 which is erythroblast will be showing you diffuse pass positivity so now you can see there is a diffuse pass positive here and notice here also so enjoy learning best wishes for your exam